Welcome everyone to the channel. How you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. So ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like, comment, share and subscribe. Please subscribe. Now this is passed to you, passed to me, passed to us. This is something I found unique that I thought could have a little bit of a place in War Thunder. It is for the USSR, but I think this will be more of a event vehicle or crafting vehicle or something like that so what are we looking at guys one ladies what are we looking at we are looking at something very high let me just page through some pictures sorry i couldn't find any nice big pictures so this is basically <laughs> a a innovation vehicle okay so during world war ii when the germans were attacking odessa on the outskirts there's a factory there or was a factory i don't know if it's still there it's called the, the january uprising factory it was a machine factory it was the only factory in that area more or less that had still tools to manufacture things because you guys must remember when the war broke out and stalin eventually got off his uh, ass and started doing making decisions he had moved all heavy factories and equipment to produce weapons and everything on the other side of the Ural Mountains, okay? He had literally moved entire factories. So there weren't many factories in the, in, 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 in the fighting section of Russia where the fighting was happening to produce anything. And by this time, the Russians had been running low on tanks because most of the equipment that was on the front lines was already destroyed because Stalin was an ass wipe and couldn't make any decisions and didn't believe he was getting attacked by Germany. He was in a state of shock, literally, they say. Uh, he was like shocked at completely, even though he had been warned and that. But anyway, we're coming up with, with, with the matter, guys. So this is called the N1 Tracta, if I remember correctly. Okay. They basically took like what we call a caterpillar, a caterpillar or a, a, a D9 dozer or something. Yeah, they had their own versions and they built this thing okay it's called the ni tractor sorry ni tractor so what it consisted of was a sheet metal laying around that they found from old boilers and sheet metal anywhere that they could get it was like double layered so they would make this it came with a heavy machine gun um disc s and a disc no it came with the big one the big machine gun the 12 millimeter one and then it came with a DSK S. DSK, I think it was. So they assembled these. There were like 69 of them produced. Um, it was basically just for the defense of the city. Um, they were in service. There was, like I say, 69 that were produced. When they abandoned Odessa, I think a lot of these things were just left behind because they say in the articles and my research that I read, the thing was noisy as hell. Okay, if everyone's anyone's been near like a D9 or a, a Doza or anything, that thing makes a hell of a noise. Okay, so it's understandable. And their height and they were terribly slow. I mean, okay, D9 a Doza is already slow. So imagine now adding all this armor. They don't give precise amounts of armor or anything that was added on it. But I can imagine it could stop into a machine gun fire. That's about it. Um, further than that, I think if a mortar hit it or a grenade, I think it would pop like a fireworks cracker, a cracker at New Year's. Um, so I presume they left them. The Germans must have captured them and laughed at this and thought it was funny as hell. But this is the type of things I like. It was innovation. Guys thinking on the fly, like, guys, we need to do something. We don't stand a chance. Oh, well, we've got, we've got a shit ton of these D9s or these dozers. Let's innovate. Let's build something. And this is what I liked about the Syrian war, why I followed it a little bit. The innovation. Every side, IS, the, I, IS, um, the Syrian army, they were all innovating on different things. And they were, it was such a unique thing to watch all these different innovations. So it came with two machine guns. It came with a 37 or a 45 mil, millimeter gun, whatever they had laying around. Yeah, that's basically it for this. I think this would make a nice like little niche vehicle in a for a crafting event or something. Maybe call it like innovation or something. Um, I think this will be pretty cool. It'll be fun, bit big, but I guess at a very low BR. Maybe even if they one day decide to add like World War One tanks, this could fit into there. But this something I thought was unique and I think could be just like a niche 
vehicle for a crafting event that you could just like take out and maybe just have some shits and giggles with or even just like a like they did now with with those funny airplanes in that event that they were having they could do something like that with this thing and it could maybe be a prize you won't play it much but just unique and it's nice seeing these innovation things coming out so yeah not not a lot to it i think it had a crew of like three or four um yeah i presume a crew of four even could maybe be five because you would have like a driver but even though they say in the article these things didn't move around much so where they stationed them they would basically like stay that's why they like try to build as many as possible so it could be like almost a fixed defense so yeah it was a solid constructed uh tire uh, uh, uh hall uh they took the tracks the engine and they just built the steel box around it with with the guns in it and there it was so yeah not much to write home about something just small quick something i thought was very fascinating go check it out it's the ni tractor um very cool was used at the battle of odessa no that's basically it guys uh, very fun and no one can accuse me of this is a paper tank because it was actually produced 69 of them were made roughly they say estimate and it is on display at uh, some russian military museum uh, the patriotic museum um, something like that there you can see it being constructed so yeah very interesting little vehicle there you can see it in its full glory this one actually had a turnable turret. Okay. So there must have been several different ways of innovating it. Okay. Well, we well, we well, well, well. This is the one that was mounting the two machine guns on. This one's got a bit of, it looks like a bow force or something, a 40 mil on it, actually. So like I said, it was an innovated vehicle, so not that one. So they could mount whatever they wanted on these things. And yeah, um, just so bloody awesome to see so cool how you can just take something and turn it into actually something so guys don't forget to hit that like comment share and subscribe and don't forget i will be getting into war thunder again very soon i will start playing it again and start uploading regularly on it so i haven't run away from war thunder it's still there it's still my baby on the channel so guys keep well let me know what you guys think about this and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye